What is up guys, Julian here, the French wine making guy who makes wine videos here on YouTube. Yes, wine videos. And yes, it's this time again, it's Beaujolais Nouveau Day today. And being the most popular French wine geek here on YouTube, I had to do something about it. So I've gathered quite a few Beaujolais Nouveau wines and I'm going to be telling you the five top things that you've always wanted to know about Beaujolais Nouveau. By the way, did you know that there is a rosé version of Beaujolais Nouveau? I didn't know about it. I'm going to be tasting this rosé together with three other types of newly fermented wines from France, 2019 vintage of course, and telling you everything, the five top things that you should know about Beaujolais Nouveau. Let's go! Beaujolais Nouveau is the name given to a wine produced in the Beaujolais wine region of France around the center of France that is released just a few weeks after harvest. Making of Beaujolais Nouveau one of the first wines from the northern hemisphere that you are going to be able to find bearing the current vintage 2019. So Beaujolais Nouveau is this newly fermented wine and it's also a global event, everyone, the whole world celebrating the new wine at the same time. Did you know that there's around 110 countries in the world celebrating Beaujolais Nouveau at the same time on the same day? Yes, out of 195 countries around the world, 110 celebrate in one way or another Beaujolais Nouveau. What I like about Beaujolais Nouveau is that it's a reproduction of this very old ancient tradition that we have here in Europe, in France, in Italy, in Spain, of gathering in the village or in the town to celebrate the newly fermented wine. People would work all year long on the grapes, working the vineyards very hard, picking the grapes, fermenting the wine. And once a year, once the wine was ready, they would gather all together in every village in the south of France, in Italy or in Spain, in many, many areas all across Europe, have one day where they celebrate the new harvest and the new wine. Beaujolais Nouveau is the global expression of that phenomenon. And I think it brings people together around wines that are easy to enjoy, easy to like, very fruity, but we'll talk about this, about what they taste like in a minute. So of course the all important question is when does it come out? Well this year in 2019, today the 21st of Thursday, 21st of 2019, but every year it comes out on the third Thursday of November. So it's a little bit before Thanksgiving, it's definitely before Christmas, just at the end of November and that's why we never know exactly when the date is because it changes every year just like Easter. So Beaujolais Nouveau is made from the local grape that they have in Beaujolais region of France, the local French grape that is called Gamay, that is it becoming increasingly popular all around the world because it makes lighter, fruitier styles of wines, somewhat in the Pinot Noir style, but with its own personality. Now with the Nouveau, is there anything that they do differently to make it? And as you know, I am a winemaker, so I can tell you everything about it. Yes, they use a very specific technique that is called the carbonic maceration. And essentially that consists of picking the grapes, not crushing them or not removing the stalks, not destemming them or not pressing them at all, entire bunches and put those bunches into tanks full of carbon dioxide. Generally speaking, what they would do is that they would put a little bit of grape juice at the bottom of the tank and ferment it. So that would release some natural carbon dioxide. So this is a natural phenomenon. But what it makes is that it makes the berries that are entire react in a certain way and form very fruity aromas, very fruity compounds, especially the ones that are called esters. Esters have loads of aromas of banana, of strawberry, of very lolly-like kind of fruit. And this is essentially why Beaujolais Nouveau tastes so fruity. What this technique also allows is not to extract 
too much tannins and that uh, makes the wines very soft, very silky, so ready to enjoy very early on without having to age the wine, neither at the winery nor in your cellar. They're nice, they're soft, they're pleasing, they're enjoyable straight away, just a few weeks after picking the grapes, which is very, very rare. Now to the whole important question of what do Beaujolais Nouveau wines taste like? Well, if you look at the color of Beaujolais Nouveaus and now they're making a point at making really rich, richly colored wines, you will see that Beaujolais Nouveaus are actually quite dense in color and you will notice a lot of purple hues to Beaujolais Nouveaux because every wine starts with a lot of purple in it and then it goes towards the red and then it goes towards the orange and the yellow as they age. So every wine starts really really purple and because you're getting a very young wine here you will notice how purple they are which also I personally find makes them particularly appealing and pleasing to look at because they are purple, they are kind of blueish, red blueish kind of color, very very appealing. Now to the smell you will find loads of explosive notes of strawberry, of banana, pear, some fresh apple and I personally find quite a lot of grapefruit and citrus and lemon as well. Very fresh, it's extremely powerful, exuberant, but everything on the fruit, hardly is there any earthiness and not many spices, maybe a little bit of black and green pepper on the background, but that's going to be about it, everything about the fruit. Now the taste. Beaujolais Nouveau is a dry wine, but because it's so fruity, because they make it round using special yeast to get a texture that is soft and oily and rather full bodied in at least the fattiness, the oily texture of the wine. This is a wine that feels somewhat a little bit sweet even though it's not, but the fruitiness makes it really pleasing, slightly sweet, very salivating. The tannins are soft and silky, making you salivate, so just venous enough. It tastes a little bit like uh, grapefruit, well, grape juice, yeah, grape juice or fruit juice, I should say. But with delicate vinosity, it still tastes like wine, but it's very fruity, very soft, very mild, velvety, very pleasing. Everyone enjoys this type of wine. It's very easy to appreciate for anyone. And that's what makes it also joyful to share a glass with people during Beaujolais Nouveau Day. Of course, there isn't only one type of Beaujolais Nouveau wine. What I was describing to you before here is the Beaujolais Nouveau, standard Beaujolais Nouveau made by Georges Duboeuf, one of the most important producers of Beaujolais wine in France. Georges Duboeuf makes this Beaujolais Nouveau. This is one of the most common Beaujolais Nouveau wines that you will find, but it's very typical of the style. It's very well made uh, still, but there are different styles. If you want to higher increase the quality in, of your Beaujolais Nouveau experience, you can go for a Beaujolais Village Nouveau. Beaujolais Village, as the name indicates, is made from some specific villages that are renowned in the Beaujolais area for having a slightly better terroir, slightly better vineyard sites, therefore producing grapes of slightly better quality. So this is going to be just a few dollars more expensive, but we'll see what it tastes like and is it worth investing on your Beaujolais Village. Hmm. Wow, certainly a much bigger wine, much more tannins. The concentration as well, overall concentration is much bigger. There's much more acid as well. I think you could summarize it that the Beaujolais Village is a little bit more venous. It tastes a little bit more like wine. So this is going to be more suitable if you want your Beaujolais Nouveau to go with your food, with your main because it's bigger, it's got more tannins, so this deserves to be accompanied, paired with richer foods, the grilled meat, the stews, the rich, the cheeses as well, everything that you have in winter, the big satisfying foods. The Nouveau, the standard Nouveau is more for appetizers, for entrees, just to relax with a good glass of wine. This calls for food a little bit more. So it's good to know that you have two different options. One more for just enjoy a glass of wine before the meal and one to go with the meal.
But let's dig into the rosé. I had actually never had a Beaujolais Nouveau rosé before. I'm quite tempted and I'm quite curious to try this rosé. Is it worth buying a Beaujolais Nouveau rosé as opposed to any other rosé? It's acidic, it's dry, it's got a lot of vibrancy. Again, the flavors are super, super vibrant. Lots of citrus, lots of grapefruit, lots of lemon. It's actually very, very pleasing in this burst, this uh, huge intensity of pear. Uh, it's actually really well made, very pleasing. I think you should definitely try one of those and see what you, whether you like it, because it does remind me when I was working in a winery, tasting the newly made rosé wines, or when you are in one of those small villages in Europe where you celebrate with a new wine, this is essentially this type of new wine that is encapsulated in here, even more so than with the red wines, I would say. And here it is, those were the most common questions about Beaujolais Nouveau answered. Quite an interesting uh, tasting experience as well. I hope you're going to enjoy your Beaujolais Nouveau day. Which Beaujolais Nouveau wine are you having? Are you having a Beaujolais Village? What do you think about the ones that you've had? Let us know in the comments. Is 2019 a good vintage for Beaujolais? I don't think there's a huge variation in vintages for Beaujolais Nouveau but 2019 is looking good. Are you enjoying your Beaujolais Nouveau day? Are you enjoying the 2019 wines? Do you have a favorite producer, a favorite style? Let me know in the comments. Quite excited to learn more about what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine. Au revoir, bye bye, cheers.